Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Raid Shadow Legends and this is being streamed and I apologize uh, for that but the f many of the future videos now will be that uh, throughout the coming days due to the fact that I am traveling on Saturday which I forgot and I will be away a while. So yeah, we'll begin. Sorry, <laughs> I'm burping, what? Uh, today I'm going to show you my clan boss team and we're going to do clan boss a lot of times. Uh, I may skip through like s s speed up through like the time time lapse the, the boring stages or whatever there but yes yeah, so i'll show you what <clears throat> what kind of team i've got for it i copied up a guide called a budget manager team uh so in that team i i wish that by the way i would be able to use the raw shirts but i just haven't figured out or done anything with that yet like i still have this guy geared from the high health challenge um, so let's, let's see here what I'm using. So first of all, I'm using a man-eater. Uh, he's currently sitting at 254 speed, 45k health, 2800 defense. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's how he looks. And then I'm also using, uh, let's see here. I'm using this guy's a stun target. If the boss is, uh, if the boss is green. Uh, cause green is strong against red. So this guy is currently sitting at... A slow defense as possible, a good amount of felt, 124 speed, good amount of accuracy so he can apply his poisons and everything. And then I'm also running, let's see here, <clears throat> I'm running a cult brawler. This is against any boss except for blue boss, a good amount of accuracy, 188 speed. I'm using actually two occult brawlers, so yeah, I'm using both of them, 188 and 189 speed. And uh, I use uh, Grave Chill Killer as a stun target against a not green boss. I use Frozen Banshee as a poisoner when the boss is blue, which he is today. Uh, so yeah, we will be having to use her. And I completely forgot also, I'm also using uh, Bad Alcazar when the boss is blue. Uh, so the damage is a little bit lower because of that, but that's what I gotta do, I suppose. Like. Everyone here, I, I think Gravechill Killer could have more accuracy, if at all possible, but I'm not sure if that's doable. 124 speed. Could I? Okay, so I technically can actually increase her accuracy a bit. Yeah, let's increase her accuracy a bit. Plus 6, I'll take that, yeah. Let's see if we can make her do a little bit more damage, if, if, if at all possible. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my voice there, but okay. What about here? Plus 1 accuracy. Couldn't I... Do I not have a necklace giving more accuracy than that? Than, 10, than 19 accuracy, I should say? Man, 12 accuracy? Okay, well, that's... A, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, so... Yeah, bad luck all around with stuff. Uh, thank you, ice to snow Wow, for subscribing! That's amazing! You've now been here for five months. I think next month you'll get a gold badge or something like that. Thank you so much for subscribing. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Your support means a lot. It really does. Okay. Uh, so I think we, we got our 252 accuracy now. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, so let's let's get right into into doing that. And if you guys wonder who's uh, like about the subscription thing on YouTube, it, it's on Twitch. So make sure to follow on Twitch if you want to. And yeah. So today the boss is blue, which means that the damage will be lower. Uh, but I'll have to make do with it. Well, the boss is blue. Yeah, the boss is blue, which means that, uh, yeah, that I, I actually do want to use her. I need to get a good stun foc- I need to get the good green stun focus. I just don't know who would do the trick, who would do the most poison. Like, would anyone be better in Grave Chill as a, as a like, stun target against a blue boss? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, as the boss is blue, we'll have to choose, uh, again, We'll have to choose Frozen Banshee, which is uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here. Also, I'm using Panky, but I completely forgot to show you guys that. I should really do that real quickly. How could I forget Painkeeper? I can't believe I've forgotten Painkeeper, man. Her Painkeeper is uh, 240 speed. She decreases the cool. She reduces the cooldowns of all other skills, which is making the unkillable possible. Uh, with man eaters, so that's pretty much what she's doing. Okay, now we can go in. Now we can do it, man. So let's find ourselves uh, Frozen Banshee and, and Bad Elgazar. 
And the damage of people do increase with bad Elkas are there. So yeah, I suppose we'll see. Natural. But I hear that that can natural be used in an ordinary uh, in an ordinary stun uh, target way that I can still do auto from first stun. Because I suppose I could make natural like a stun target, that would be no problem. Yeah, so I suppose that could work. Because uh, at that point, I hopefully would be able to use the Occult Rollers again. But I'm not sure. Because the Occult Rollers definitely does do more damage than anyone else at the moment. Uh, so let's just take away auto here. Let's get myself unkillable. Let us now do reduce cooldowns of skills. Then we will be doing uh, Poison Sensitivity, uh, which did perk. Then I'll do, let's see here, we'll just do the Poison stuff. He should, he should have the accuracy to do it. Actually, no. What? I thought, why did the boss, res the boss resisted something? I don't like that. How the heck did the boss resist? I don't know. The boss just resisted. I need, I need to re look at the, um, the accuracy of Battle Cassar again. And yeah, we'll you we'll save our attack too until next time. Uh, so yeah, now we'll just be using that. You don't want to use attack too because that messes with turn meter stuff, I believe. So yeah, you just want to do that, and now you want to do this. Then uh, manator will go, and then the boss will stun uh, the grave chill. And after that, you should be able to go auto. Technically, technically. Uh, okay, sure, that's fine, Will. So yeah, now technically you should be unkillable. Because now the bo yeah, now the reduced cooldown and everything. The healing from uh, Battle Cassar is, is useful in the beginning, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary at all. So let's see. I bet the damage here will be no more than 19 million. Due to the fact that, I don't know, it's, it's just lower for some reason. I need to maybe increase the accuracy on Battle Cassar. Considering, yeah... Maybe I'll have to maybe I'll have to increase the accuracy of Battle Kassar. Uh, I do have some more accuracy glyphs, so I can do that. Some four star ones. I don't even know why I got them. Maybe from Logan, or maybe I just got them from from doing faction wars and not realizing. Because those are good ones. Like those are good glyphs. Like for like uh, four star glyphs is okay. Anyway, we'll we'll time lapse from here. Uh, as I don't have the biggest amount of subscribers on Twitch, like ev like even everything matters. Even if I had a lot, like e everything, everything helps. It really does. Really encourages me to stream. I suppose longer streams as well. Got two legendary shirts and twenty five ancients. Okay, I'll take a look for you in a second here, and I can tell you if it's worth it or not. Nineteen point four million. Uh, so we'll just cut back to the recording now. Well, I'll just add it to get through the end, it's fine. 19.4 million, that's not bad. So here we have people doing 116 million in two keys. Obviously, the, the world record is, as it stands, 121 million in one key, uh, which is insane. Someone has dealt over 120 million in a single key. Uh, but these guys are running, yeah, this year to extend debuffs, Draco a couple of man-eaters to probably... Like, they're even using her... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that would be like. No, no, Vizier doesn't, he doesn't extend debuffs, does he? Yeah, he's, he's doing a lot. You just made an account. That's awesome. Yeah, nice, nice. I'm, I'm glad that you're glad. But anyway, yeah, just a single key, I'm not doing a lot. So I really need to take inspiration from things, <coughs> from people who has champions that I have. So here I would miss Valkyrie. Okay, let's see here if there is anyone with champions that I have. They have a three key setup. That's the same as I have. And these guys are using Bulwark. Uh, they're also using... Is that an unkillable setup? Because blue against red. The boss should not target. 
Oh, I would imagine maybe... No, isn't the, like the first champion of the bunch like the stun focus? It is. So how are, how are they doing that then? 85 million and three keys. Bulwark is understandable. Um, yeah, that's an ins that's an inspirational team right there. Uh, it is uh, the budget version. Yeah, I have a budget and killable. <laughs> I I have the budget and killable, pretty much. And um, yeah, so let's. Um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. I think that uh, we we covered a lot, and. Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, we'll not end the stream, but I think that will probably end the recording, maybe. I don't know, maybe we will. Yeah, I think that we will. Thanks guys so much for watching, have a nice one.